alikuwa akizundua mpango wa pikipiki za kutumia stima nguvu za umeme sio mafuta ambayo iko beigali kama ungesoma hiyo finance bill ungejua hayo na ungeipigia kura ili wana boda boda wapate pikipiki ambayo hataweka mafuta Watatumi, wataweka tu charge wanatendesha wanapata pesa mfukoni ile rais aliwaagiza lakini sababu mkutano haukuwa wako nimeona wengine rais huko Nairobi walikuwa kwa maombi na nashukuru wametoka kwa maandamano wakaenda kwa maombi hilo ni jambo muhimu sana na nimeona wamechanga pesa aliyekuwa rais ametoa milioni moja mzee rafiki yetu wanaeita baba ametoa milioni moja wabunge sijui milioni moja na nusu wabunge kama mia moja na kitu milioni moja tu na nusu ile ningetoa peke yangu rais kalonzo musioka ametoa 500 1500 lakini nataka niulize sababu wamesema pale wale watu ambao wanachangia pesa ambao wame afa ama wamekufa walipoteza maisha yao wakati wa maandamano hawakufaa kupoteza maisha na mimi nakubaliana na wapinzani wetu kabisa wale watu wanaowachangia pesa leo hawakuwa na budi kupoteza maisha yao sababu ya maandamano na kwenda kuwachangia pesa leo ni kama kucheza densi kwa kaburi zao sababu mwenye kusababisha maafa yale ni wewe ambaye ulitoa pesa zako ukamobilize watu waende wakafanye riots because let us be honest your excellency what they are doing today is tantamount to dancing on the graves of those who lost their lives in the riots the anarchy and the violence that we witnessed in the last few months in Nairobi and parts of this country because had you not sponsored those riots had you not mobilized innocent young men and women to go and riot to go loot to go destroy property maybe they would not have lost their lives and i want to agree with them that those people who lost their lives need not have lost their lives and we must engage and your excellency waziri Aisha amekuambia uko na namba ya simu ya aliyekuwa waziri mkuu. Mimi sitaki umpigie simu. Na nilikuuliza tukiwa pale kichwa kichwa cha cut. Usimpigie simu. Niliona amekuandikia kwa tweet uko na namba yake ya simu na unajua kwake. Hata sitaki uende kwake na ukienda ukipewa kitu usikule. Mimi nataka tu umuite pale Nairobi na uite mtu ya kamera hawa watu ya media na uweke viti mbili muongee lakini muongee mchana hadharani wa Kenya wote wakisikiza na wakiona mnaongea mambo gani ili tuhakikishe yale mambo analeta kwako sio mambo ya ugawi wa mamlaka sio mambo ya kugawa viti sio mambo yake ya binafsi ni mambo inayogusia wa Kenya wa kawaida hayo ni mazungumzo ambayo tunayakaribisha and i want to ask you your excellency he invite the former prime minister he invite our former president for a round table discussion which must be live on tv na nilisikia waziri mvuri akisema kwa live debate ile presidential debate alikutoroka na muuliza kwa heshima former prime minister asitoroke hii akuje mbele yako aambie wa Kenya kama ni gharama ya maisha tunaongea ni gharama ya maisha ya wa Kenya wa kawaida wanataka wawe ndio mashahidi ya yale mambo anakuambia juu ya gharama ya maisha ili na wewe umuonyeshe manifesto yako najua hajasoma kama mama beyu hapa ni kweli hawajasoma kama wangesoma wangejua leo hii baada ya mvua kunyesha bei ya viazi bei ya mboga hata bei ya unga mheshimiwa rais unajua nimewa kutoka nyeri mama amenituma kununua unga juzi pakiti ya jogoo na pembe ambayo ilikuwa 234 
nilinunua 198 shillings hapo supermarket kikuyu na najua itaendelea kushuka bei so mukizungumza mukiwa live kwa tv tuone mnaongea bei ya unga bei ya chakula na mambo ya maendeleo ya hao wananchi kwa hiyo mengi mheshimiwa rais naomba nikomeshe hapo lakini niulize kwa heshima watu wa kilifi tuweke amani ambayo governor wetu na viongozi wengine hapa kilifi wametuonyesha nyinyi ni watu wa maandamano ama wa maendeleo maendeleo na tuwakaribishe wote na nitatuma mama Mbeyu kwa huyo mzee na aliyekuwa rais wetu muweze kuwaleta kwa jukwaa la maendeleo watoke kwa jukwaa la maandamano asante na Mungu awabariki